Okay, pitches. we've got billions of dollars of oil and gas leasing that literally would would help our communities uh, in the Uinta Basin and San Juan County and all over the state of Utah if we could just get the BLM to do its job. Now all of a sudden they put this master leasing plan on top of everything else they've been doing so they can delay it another number of months. Now the, the BLM director Bob Abbey said that that will help them to win these uh, cases that SUA is bringing. Uh, I just hope someday that we can do something to, uh, to the, the Southern Utah Wilderness Lines because uh, they're funded for the most part, as I understand it, from outside our state. They come in and interfere with our state. They stop the development of, of these resources. And keep in mind, there are, uh, we've lost billions of dollars uh, for our local communities out there and, and, uh, and, and billions of dollars in oil and gas because companies, 90% of the companies are not leaving to go to places where they have less problems. And it's all caused by basically BLM and the federal government. And we've just got to do something about it. I, 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 you know, I, we really did give Mr. Abbey a, a, an earful here today. And hopefully he'll take it back and talk to the secretary and see what they can do. But I've got to tell you, we could help this country immensely if we could just drill for and obtain our oil and gas that we have right there in Utah. And that's not even including oil shale. If we could do our oil shale, we've got one of the biggest deposits in the world. And uh, I can tell you right now, Estonia has been doing it for how many years? Twenty decades now, uh, getting oil in, out of uh, oil shale and tar sands. And if Estonia can do it, why can't we do it? And we are doing it, but we're having to do it on private, uh, you know, on state lands rather than uh, be able to do it where really all the oil oil really is. And we've just got to do a better job. And all I can say is it's very dis disconcerting to me to have so many bureaucrats uh, interfering with everything we're trying to do. And it's very disturbing to the communities involved because w we're so owned by the federal and state governments in our state, it locks up an awful lot of the land. We can't get the, uh, we can't get the uh, leases to be able to do what needs to be done. Uh, we are captive of government, and yet we have these areas which we know are very productive areas it would mean an awful lot to our school systems, mean an awful lot with regard to jobs, mean an awful lot to our country and oil and gas, and, uh, and we're, we're being interfered with on all of these, all these areas. First of all, we do appreciate Senator Hatch in organizing, putting together this meeting today. This, I, I believe, will be very valuable, very helpful. We appreciate our other congressmen and also Senator Lee. Uh, attending the meeting as well today and, and appreciate the invitation being here. But, you know, what really brought us here together uh, had a lot to do with the master leasing areas. There's 2.9 million acres that's being proposed in the state of Utah, about 600,000 acres in Uinta County. We have a lot of concern about that because essentially that takes these lands off of the table for development, at least until there's plan amendments. Uh, there's some uh, discussion out there how long that would really take but we have concern with that we also have concern that it changes our resource management plans that we've worked many years to develop and so we do appreciate uh, a listening ear we do appreciate uh, again our legislators in in trying to help us with this issue appreciate uh, director abby uh, listening to us today and we hope that uh, there will be a good outcome that comes from this we were grateful for the meeting today. We thought that uh, getting all the parties together to talk about the issues, uh, we've got some real issues about how this uh, master leasing concept came about. We were kind of left out, we feel like, and didn't have any input in it to it originally, and we were concerned that it's going to add another layer of bureaucracy and time in, in allowing these companies that want to drill to get out and be able to, to drill, provide uh, energy which provides a tax base for the schools, for the county, the cities. And uh, in our case, it's, it's a huge amount of, of our economic uh, tax base in San Juan County. About 62% of our centrally assessed property comes from oil and gas. So, and we, we only have 8% private land. So the BLM is the main landowner in the county, and we've got to work something to, to make it so that these applications to drill can be effective and, and get the companies out there doing their jobs.